I've only been in the dating world for, I want to say three months now, mm-hmm. and it is exhausting. I like, it's exhausting. I want to fill the towel in. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with, you know? <laughs> uh, you know, and I will say this. Okay. Someone had told me, and I was, I, I wanted to be like, no, I, I disagree with you, and I don't want to believe it. They were like, you just, because I, my, you know, my last relationship when dating was, you know, when I was, you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer, you know, uh, present, meaning like people just don't court each other anymore. And this person was like, well, you know, that's just, that's old news. Like people, people just don't do that anymore. There's just this whole new way of doing things. And I'm like, you mentioned tradition, you know, and I think that's where it kind of needs to go back to, you know, where, you know, a man is, um, courting a woman and, and showing her, you know, how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her. That's this right. is what Tia Maori said about graduating from marriage to her now ex-husband. I ruined not just my marriage, but my entire life by leaving my husband. I left him for absolutely no reason. He was very nice to me. I regret leaving my husband. I was distracted by another man who promised he would treat me better. But he didn't. Here is the best response for Tia Maori. It sounds like you're experiencing a lot of regret and pain over the choices you've made in your relationship. It's understandable to feel this way, especially when reflecting on decisions that have led to unhappiness. Many people can relate to the struggle of realizing too late the value of what they had. Relationships can be complex, and sometimes we make decisions based on temporary feelings or illusions of what could be better elsewhere. It's human nature to seek happiness and fulfillment, but it's also common to misjudge what will truly bring us those things. As for why some women might sabotage good relationships, there can be a multitude of reasons. It could stem from unresolved personal issues, unrealistic expectations, external influences, or simply not recognizing the value of what they have until it's gone. The saying about the grass not always being greener on the other side is a reminder that appearances can be deceiving. It's important to approach relationships with thoughtfulness, communication, and a deep understanding of what truly matters to us. Learning from our mistakes and using that knowledge to make better choices in the future is part of the journey toward personal growth and fulfillment. A thanks for watching Esovic React, where we dive into the latest trends, share laughs, and explore the world of entertainment together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our reactions. Until next time, stay awesome and keep those suggested videos coming.